Live from Nassau in the Bahamas, it's theCUBE, covering Polygon 18. Brought to you by Polymath. Well, welcome back to our live coverage of Polycon 18. We are in the Bahamas. It's theCUBE's coverage of the cryptocurrency, ICOs, blockchain, the entire industry on token economics. Uh, this is sponsored by Polymath. They're the host hosting us here. They make a securitized token platform to help people tokenize their business. I'm with Dave Vellante and we're with Al Bergio, CUBE alumni, one of the CUBE alumni, only CUBE alumni here. Uh, now we're adding more, good to see you. Thank you for having me, guys. Thanks for coming on, Al. You're uh, the CEO founder of a blockchain venture, FuseChain, and open source part of Digital Bits. Correct. Digitalbits.io. Mm -hmm. We talked about this on Studio in Palo Alto around the project. How's it going? Um, are you doing an ICO? What's <laughs> happening? What's the momentum? Talk about what's going on. Uh, well, the momentum is great. Um, and as, as, as we can see by an event like this, I mean, the, the uh, the attendance is phenomenal, the discussions are great, and there's definitely a, uh, an ongoing movement towards blockchain, cryptocurrencies, and, and so forth, and we're obviously very excited to be a part of it, uh, and equally so, um, been experiencing um, you know, phenomenal success while we've been in stealth mode, and we're excited to be sharing that in the, in the coming weeks with the public. I always try to get data out of you, but you're like an iron <laughs> trap, man. Like, <laughs> you like, will not reveal it. Um, I saw you in the hallways um, this morning, and even last night at dinner, I mean, surrounded by investors, you're getting, and people throwing their cards at you. Um, that's, that's a good sign, I mean, but it's still early. This is an emerging ecosystem. And you're a senior entrepreneur, so you're attracting that kind of um, interest in the venture solid. What's the story, what's the story of these investors? What, what are they interested in? Why are they approaching you? Why the appetite for the, your project? Um, and, and how are you approaching as a season I see most people want to promote the hell out of their opportunities. Mm -hmm. You're not, you're taking a different approach. What's, well, we, we definitely, um, uh, obviously we'll, we'll turn on the marketing engine publicly um, and with a full, full tank of gas. Um, and you'll see that in the coming weeks. But we've been able to um, definitely have um, you know, a significant uh, number of conversations while, uh, while in the stealth mode phase. Really, I think what's attracting a lot of the interest is that we've identified a massive market opportunity. And, and um, really where uh, blockchain technology um, can help, um, among other things, bring a liquidity to, to a space that does lack liquidity. And that, and that for us um, is the loyalty and rewards uh, market. Um, it's a multi-billion dollar market. Um, and we feel that uh, what we've built um, with the uh, digital bits protocol and the, and the digital bits network uh, is really going to solve a big problem out there for businesses, enterprises, uh, as well as consumers. And you know, we're excited to uh, be bringing, uh, bringing that to life and um, with, uh, with phenomenal support from ecosystem partners, among others. Let's talk about the show. We're going to bring you back tomorrow when we wrap up, because I know you got a lot of meetings and scheduling to check out the session, so I want to get your take on the show after the fact. But going into the show, um, you have some early conversations, some early, early data is coming in from these hallway conversations and interviews. What are you seeing? I mean, what, what's the bottom line? I mean, is the ICOs are hot, <coughs> the SEC is coming down and putting out subpoenas, a wave of subpoenas recently, um, the advisor role, you got venture capitalists, it's unregulated, they're selling, they're pumping, they're dumping. I mean, I know of a couple people that are in some coin deals that are you know, venture funds, but they're also marketing yeah. the same thing. So they're getting their hands slapped. Yeah. What's the state of the I, industry? I think, you know, there's, um, high energy in the space. It's moving really fast, and some um, organizations are getting overly anxious, moving perhaps a little too fast um, without getting their ducks in a row, and, and maybe perhaps that's mm -hmm. resulting in uh, some wrist slapping. But overall, um, you know, this is, this is a big evolution that's happening. And what we're seeing, obviously, is a, a, a new um, asset class, but it's, it, it, it can take the shape of perhaps a security or utility. Yeah. Um, and you know, the law applies to these things differently. Yeah. And, um, and so uh, you know, people need to do their homework. So you were at the video coin of, uh, event last night. You've been, they've been very successful. We're going to have Halsey Miner come on shortly uh, for an interview. Seasoned entrepreneur, he's back at the game. I mean, this market's attracting pros. Absolutely. We had the Goldman Sachs guys now run Block Tower institutional investors, you got pro entrepreneurs coming in, and you got the young guns coming up. I mean, this is a really kind of a really robust, fertile environment. Yeah, it, I, I think it's only the beginning. We're going to see 
uh, a tremendous amount of ongoing pedigree enter the space. Um, every day we're seeing um, evidence of ongoing validation. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, it, it is by no coincidence that we're already seeing some phenomenal pedigree. And I think, you know, it's, like I said, it's just going to continue. What's the one observation that you would share to people that are watching about this event? Obviously, a lot of Canadians here. You're from Canada, you live in the U.S. Uh, but it's not just Canadians, it's a global economy. Yeah. What's your observation? Sorry? What's your observation of the show? Um, there's definitely, if I you know, look at the attendee list here, uh, it's, it's this convergence that's happening. So you have um, Wall Street or the Canadian equivalent, uh, which is Bay Street, um, you know, uh, traditional investment banking, brokerage type institutions that are here, various, uh, you know, very curious in terms of how blockchain will impact uh, the securities markets. Um, and then you have the innovators that are on the forefront of this, um, really driving the technology that's going to support and help even that industry evolve. Um, so there's a lot, a lot of talk here um, uh, in particularly, you know, as it relates yeah. to that uh, uh, category. A lot of whales, a lot of influencers, a lot of advisors, a lot of money here, a lot of action. A lot of action. All right, Albert Gio is the founder and CEO of Fuse Chain and the sponsors of digitalbits.io. It's a great open source project. Check it out. I'm going to still try to get some information out of you because you're still <laughs> in stealth mode, but uh, uh, you're good. <laughs> good <laughs> Thanks seeing for you. Me, Thanks for coming on. Cube yeah. alumni here mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, in Bahamas for the Cube coverage. I'm John Furrier, Dave Vellante. More coverage after this short break. Oh.